cool part, but probably yeah. the spot showers, mm -hmm. not what folks were hoping for, not only just on a Friday evening with Cardinals baseball and football games all around the area, along with other sports, but also headed into this kind of last hurrah of summer that is Labor Day weekend. Got our view for you this evening in Jefferson County down at Northwest High School in Cedar Hill. The field is quiet here tonight. They're actually up at Parkway South tonight, but just a sign, kind of that kind of gloomy, wet look over the football fields. No matter which one you're headed to tonight, that is going to be your view. And you can see the rain showers here. A couple of areas to focus on. There may be a little steadier shower, a little just a little more oomph to that lighter rain, stretching from about O'Fallon and St. Paul West down towards Innsbruck and Warrington, and maybe back just south of Herman. The other area with a little heavier shower right now is this energy between Viburnum and Bunker. It stretches on south of Salem as well. That's where most of the showers are on the lighter side. So as you head out tonight, take the rain jacket, take the umbrella with you. You will need to turn on the windshield wipers. You'll want to have that rain jacket on. But it's not going to probably wash out any events. They'll be able to play through this down at Bush Stadium. So hopefully the folks that are already gathering here at Ballpark Village have the rain gear. You can see the raindrops here about 220 just starting to show up on the camera. And we've seen light rain on and off through downtown St. Louis as the crowds begin to filter in. And they'll get to their seats here as we go through the next hour or so. It's our Golden Oak Lenny rooftop camera. Currently we're at 78 degrees. Again, with the rain and the cloud cover, a little cooler. We're going to stay that way, I think, through the weekend. Dew points at 65, winds west at 9, pressure 30 inches even and it is holding steady. Temperatures today topped out at 83 degrees. Had some more breaks in the overcast, a little more sunshine earlier in the day. Those clouds have been really filling in. 71 the low this morning. Now, so far, Lambert not officially reporting any precipitation, but with this light rain building in, I think I expect them to do that as we go through the night. Clouds over Farmington, Missouri right now. It's 79 degrees there. Been a little steadier rain. Phelps and parts of Crawford counties were in the 60s, Cuba and Rolla. A little warmer where we haven't seen the rain though just yet. Greenville, Illinois still at 81. Salem as well at 81. So that difference, the haves and the have nots. The rain keeping us a little cooler where there hasn't been that rain. We're a touch warmer still this evening. This is the stubborn kind of odd area of low pressure. Main storm track is to the north or to the south and it's stuck in between and it's just going to kind of drift around through the weekend, kind of through the bi-state region. And as it does so, kind of getting kept in place by this cold front to our north, it's just going to continue to kind of spin in some areas of energy, bringing scattered showers, maybe some thunder showers to the area and keeping us under at least mostly cloudy skies, I think, through the weekend with these waves of wet. Won't be for everybody all the time, but where they hit some rain, maybe some lightning and some thunder, not only tonight, but tomorrow and Sunday as well. So the yard work forecast for this holiday weekend, not saying you have to work, but if you were thinking about it, it's a little on the iffy side. If you hear thunder, head inside, keep an eye to those skies all weekend long. Scattered showers, can't rule out a thunderstorm, but nothing severe. We'll wake up tomorrow morning in the 60s. Big final hurrah for the big area pools this weekend. If you are going to head to the pool, expect it to be a slightly cooler day. Pretty comfortable though. But with those on and off again rain showers, we'll have to keep that chance around throughout the day. That extended outlook, it's a little unsettled and it's kind of a bit unfortunate. I think any time tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, we could see an isolated shower or thunder shower. So let's keep that energy around. By the time we get to Labor Day Monday, the chance of showers and storms becomes more of an afternoon to evening watcher. Temperatures will stay in the 80s all week long.